Hi everyone, I'm Darth Ozzy and welcome to Darth Ozzy's Star Wars Collector's Corner. This is my little apprentice, Darth Apprentice. Hi! People have requested for us to review the katana, so that's what we're doing today. Yep, we'll be back in a sec. So, Darth Ozzy, how did this beautiful sail barge come to be? Well, this was the first of the Hasbro Pulse um, subscription toys that came out a couple of years back. Um, it is very big. It's over three feet long, which is over a meter in, a, in a metric. But this was one of those toys that had to have backers. So a lot like they're doing with the Razor Crest as well, yes. you have to back this. So in other words, you had to pre-purchase it before it was even built. And Hasbro Pulse said we need 5,000 people to pledge to want to buy this before they even started building and making it. All right. So I think they've done a fantastic job. What do you think? I think they've done a beautiful job on the painting and artwork on this. Yes, the detail, the sails. The sails are fabric. Um, the, the amount of stuff you had to put together was very minimal. Um, it came almost fully assembled in a very big box. And for people in North America, uh, it was easy enough to get because Hasbro Pulse were able to ship it straight to their door. For people overseas, like here in Australia this became a real problem because we couldn't just order it. We had to have it delivered somewhere in America and then have it shipped across afterwards. And there were very few toy stores in Australia and or online stores that decided to do this. So getting this barge here to Australia was a, a monumental feat to begin with. Now, the other thing, of course, is this is a three and three quarter inch scale. So a lot of the figures that came out as part of the vintage collection or even earlier a lot of the older type figures as well work beautifully with this because it plays really well doesn't it but Darth Ozzy I've never played with it oh yes I know because this is a very expensive item and even though there is playability with it which we will go through in a sec because you will get to have a look at it um, <laughs> there is going to be some delicate pieces to this um, apparatus that you don't want to break and in particular the sails and the struts that hold the sails up were very hard to put in place when it was uh, first being assembled but as my good apprentice said before there is a huge amount of detail in this and I think to be able to look at the outside of it you can see that it's highly detailed the back area that I'm looking at here that you're not seeing on the camera from that side has some beautiful detail to it, but there's no playable uh, features along this side. All the playable features are over here. So there's a couple of little windows that open and close on this side. And of course, there's the fins that turn um, on both sides. And of course, they work on this side as well. But the majority of stuff happens over here. So let's go over and see what we can open up and have a look at. Yes. Okay. So, we're going to take off the panels with a simple snap. And here we are. So, there are several panels that come off at the front along here that we've taken off for you. So, you can have a look at the inside detail. What is the first thing you notice when you look at this with it open up? Jabber. Yep. So, it did come with a jabber. All right. Jabber the Hutt can sit in there on his, well, it's not his throne, but on some uh, soft cushioning that he can... Uh, oversee all of the minions inside his sail barge. The other thing that it did come with is this beautiful yak face figure on a Power of the Force lookalike card that came with a coin. Um, and that was an exclusive figure, simply only came with a katana. Nowhere else you could buy that. So a lot of people are trying to sell that online secondhand. Um, they've got the barge and they're selling the figure separately, going through the roof, ridiculous prices. What's the other thing you'll notice inside here? There's sculptures on the walls. Yeah. So the detail is ridiculously um, well done and very screen accurate. Apart from the stuff that happens up the top here, there are a few little things like opening hatches over here 
um, hatches that open and close to allow figures to walk down through uh, with stairs and everything. But the other thing that's interesting is that the cannon that came on the top of it, um, that uh, you might remember in Return of the Jedi, Leia kicks it and uh, Luke shoots the deck um, to blow the whole thing up. The, um, the cannon is a little bit different to the one that came out with the Leia on card that had the uh, slave girl um, Leia with it. This is a, a little bit more screen accurate as well. So a lot of those sorts of things have been fixed up in this. If you go through inside here, just go through room by room, Mr. Apprentice, and tell me what you see. Pillars and stairs. Yeah, so there's staircases, there's pillars. What else? You've talked about decals on the wall. Ladders. Yeah. Weapons. Right. Detail. Yeah. So what, what we're seeing inside there is that there's a galley where they prepare the food. Um, there is obviously the central area where Jabber is. You can go right along and have a look. Um, there's a central area where they prepare the food. Um, there is in here a dungeon. So there's a lot of chains and things. There's a, there's there's a sculpture a, on the wall of a of You a pointed prisoner. to the wrong place, but yep. the dungeon's there. Right. This is the kitchen yep. and sharpening tools area. Okay, yep, great. And then at the front right there is the controls. Yep, so you've got the cockpit for the two drivers to sit in um, to steer this sail barge across the uh, Tatooine Desert. Um, the other thing, of course, is, and, and we'll go in and have a look in some detail, but every little piece of it has some sort of a beautiful feature. They have done a fantastic job of all the pillars, um, looking at the um, freezers on the walls. There's a beautiful frieze here. There's some sculptures, um, some statues, heads. And if you go right across to here, you can see that the cockpit is beautifully detailed. There is buttons and controls and chairs and everything. There's the in the um, jail here, you can see the um, the inmates and the, do the door does slide so you can open and close the door and look in there and have a look at people. Um, even just the paintwork on the poles and the ladders and everything is so highly detailed it looks like wood. Um, you've also got some beautiful um, detail in things like the chains that are in here just for the these chains are just here to hold the prisoners up on the wall tie them up against the wall um, they're so long. they're very very long but they're also very very highly detailed with the little clasps on them and everything else and the other part of it is that if you look at the detail inside the panels that come off and see what the workmanship is and the, the craft of what Hasbro's been able to do to make the detail inside here. It's just superb. There's not a lot they haven't thought of. Um, there weren't any uh, adhesives or stickers you had to put onto this. It was all complete. And it's one of those beautiful um, pieces of engineering, I guess, that uh, allows you to be able to take off panels and look at what's, what's in the inside as well as what's on the outside. Um, so I think overall, the Katana, for the money that it cost, uh, you got a lot of stuff with it and a lot of uh, collectability. Um, it is really a collector's piece. It comes with little pegs that sit underneath it to allow it to look like it's hovering. And even the detail underneath, I'm not going to pick it up and roll it over, but the detail underneath is superb as well. So as you can see, my little apprentice has never got to play with this and now all of a sudden it's like his uh, kid in a candy shop he gets to play with it all the thing is um what have you just found there mate found a secret panel a panel that comes off so i've found over the years when i've brought toys like this home the way to find out where things are and what things do is to let a child play with them and uh, my little apprentice has over the past years found secret compartments he's found ways of doing things he's moved things around until we find out exactly how things were and and some of the hidden stuff that you know i didn't even know about this was a uh, as i said i think i mentioned before it's hasbro pulse it's actually has lab has lab were the first ones to um put together this uh this subscription sort of concept and then it has sort of generated through into other um forms but 
Overall, my little apprentice, what would you give this? Ten. No, di no diagoning here? Nope. No? Ten. Ten. Just straight out ten. Yep. The and price the price for it is a good price because you get a lot of stuff. Okay. You get all of this beautiful detail. But that's because you didn't have to pay that price. Yeah, true. <laughs> all right, what else? All the detail and that how it comes with the jabber who has good articulation. Yeah. Who's not just like some of the no, old so ones. His arms move. Yes. And, yep. His arms move, his wrist bend and all the artwork just on the walls yep. it's superb okay what about the fact that you can put um figures in you know you've got all this playability you can actually play with this different stuff in different just areas the best. it's the best isn't because it? then when you're like me and you have stories that you want to play like there's a story up here you can play down here then up here, yep. and then you can get them walking down. Yep. It's just beautiful. Okay. So this is sort of the same as this. There is compartments that you can store your weapons that you have to populate all of it. But there's compartments that will show you, for like if you want, for me, Luke could be smashing down here and cut off the floor. And then the floor could come up and you could see all the compartments and all the details. So, as you can see, the gangplank can move out and then move back in. And you can get figures like Luke in the movie. You can get him to go and jump on it and then, like, turn back and slice off that guy's head. So, that's probably not in the movie, but... My imagination, again. And the fins on the back, they move too, which is a good feature for if you're making it so it's like moving. So it is just a companion piece. It isn't the same size as the barge, but it's got features like the barge, like panels, hidden compartments, controls, and a lot of things like that. And you can also see that it is on see-through pegs, so it looks like it is floating, but of course it isn't. So that's the katana. Back to you, Darth Ozzy. Um, well, I just wanted to remind you that if you haven't already, what do they need to do? Like, subscribe, and comment down below. That's right. And my little man and I have a bit of a side bet going at the moment, and you guys get to help us out. What are we talking about? So, if you subscribe, I get one dollar. For every new subscription. So, he's on a bit of a promise at the moment, and he needs your support, don't you? Mm-hmm. And don't forget also, our, our affiliate is Goodies Toys. So, if you want to look at any of the new Star Wars merchandise that's coming out, particularly Black Series, um, the Vintage Collection, and other uh, Star Wars-related merchandise, Go to goodiestoys.com.au and also have a look at his eBay store. And the information is down below. Have a look at that. Um, very good affiliate. Uh, support a local. And all Australian orders over $99 are posted for free. So if you want to do uh, yourself a favour, go in and have a look at Goodies Toys. That's it from us and the beautiful Katana. And we'll be back next time with another review. Bye!